day again, everyone. Hope you can see me. It's a lot of sun in this shed. There you go, that's better. Um, I've decided to make some short videos on some failures, like every time something fails on the car, and you know, if I don't film the repair, I'm just going to tell you what I did. And I had a bit of a failure on the adventurer the other day, so we'll go out to the car and I'll explain to you what I did. Okay, you're not going to see much because I've got the engine cover on, but what happened is uh, originally... I, I always suspected a bad coil in this thing, so it always had a miss in it when it was cold. So, of course, it was this coil here, underneath there. That was the cylinder that wasn't firing. Um, if it ever happens to you, you just pull each wire out one at a time while the engine's running, or turn your engine off, pull the wiring out, and then fire it up again. You'll figure out which one's not firing. Um... So I had to change the coils, so I had a new set of six coils, so I decided to change them all, but I wanted to try something. What I tried was a theory I've had of whether you could do this on the side of the road if you break down. So what I do is I've got a spare coil in the back of the car or two. Um, so just say it happens to you on the side of the road, and if you've got a spare coil, all you really need is a 13 millimeter socket, a 10 millimeter socket and a seven. That's if you've got that, but you could sort of do that with a small shifter. All right, now what I did, take that off and just pop it off. That's all you gotta take off. You know, people say you can't do this without removing the plenum, but you can. But you, you've got to undo it all. So you undo your six bolts up the top, but you've got to take them, you don't need to lift them out. You've just got to undo them all the way. And all I did was lift this up. Now I'm talking about an, an emergency breakdown situation, but I replaced this gasket not long ago, you see in a previous video. Um, so what I did is I just lifted it up, undid the coil, took it out, put a new one in, blah, blah, blah. So I ended up, I, could, I changed the whole six of them without actually lifting this off or disconnecting any pipes. Um, and you can do it if your gasket's all right. But like I said, this is a breakdown situation I'm talking about. Um, you can do it uh, just to get you out of trouble. But I'll tell you what happened. What it ended up being is one of my injectors got jammed open. And it was this one. And um, it was jammed open. And it was just pouring fuel in. So... I took, I ended up, I had to lift, I had to disconnect everything and take the plenum off anyway, because you've got to do that to, to get your injectors out. So I took the injectors out, um, tested the one that I thought was faulty, and sure enough, she was jammed open. I tested it with that injector cleaner that I've got that you put on top of your throttle body cleaner can and that, and you hook the other wires up to the battery, and it was just jammed open. So luckily I had spare injectors. So that's what I did, and she's all good. But um, yeah, I just thought I'd make this short video to let you know that you can actually get yourself out of trouble on the side of the road. It's not very hard at all. You don't have to disconnect any of the pipes, just your inlet, 13 mil socket for these, and a 10 mil socket for your coils. And that's all you do. It's really easy. All right. See you in the next one. Bye.